simply the largest, most expensive, most powerful, and arguably the most controversial dam in all of history. Today, we take you to China. China is building the world's largest dam in Tibet. In the upper stream of the Brahmaputra, this river flows into India and Bangladesh. Have you ever imagined a ship sailing above mountains? With China's astonishing ship lifts and canals, vessels weighing thousands of tons defy gravity and ascend into the sky something you wouldn't believe unless you saw it yourself. But how can a ship weighing as much as a skyscraper be lifted hundreds of feet above the ground? What kind of technology makes this possible? Time to find out. Dams are powerful tools for generating electricity, controlling floods, and storing water. But they also create enormous barriers by blocking the natural flow of rivers. This wall divides the river into two distinct sections, upstream, where water piles up into a vast reservoir, and downstream, where the water level can be significantly lower. The result is a dramatic elevation difference between the two sides of the dam, ranging anywhere from a few meters to over 100 meters, depending on the dam's size and purpose. And here's the core issue, ships rely entirely on the continuity of the river. Without a way to traverse this elevation change, the river is effectively split in two, bringing maritime trade and transport to a halt. This disruption not only affects cargo movements but also the communities that depend on river routes for economic and daily activities. It turns what should be a seamless journey into a dead end, unless there's a solution. Historically, the solution to the problem of elevation differences created by dams was the use of locks. Locks are essentially giant water-filled chambers with gates at either end. Ships enter these chambers and the water level is either raised or lowered to match the next stretch of the river, allowing vessels to continue on their way. The use of locks to solve elevation differences in rivers dates back centuries. In fact, the first Grand Lock we know of was constructed in China during the 10th century, known as the Grand Canal's Double Gate Lock. But here's the catch, locks have their limits, especially when it comes to very high elevation differences like those created by modern mega dams. Imagine trying to build a staircase that needs to climb the equivalent height of a 30-story building. You would need countless steps, or in this case, a series of multiple locks. This becomes impractical for several reasons, such as cost, space needed, and the time it would take to go through different locks. This is where ship lifts come into play as an elegant and efficient solution. Unlike locks, a ship lift can handle a large elevation change in a single operation. Imagine an elevator, but for massive ships weighing thousands of tons. Instead of waiting hours to pass through a series of locks, vessels can be lifted or lowered quickly, saving both time and valuable resources. And there's no better example of this than the colossal Three Gorges Dam ship lift. As one of the largest ship lifts in the world, it's capable of elevating vessels weighing up to 3,000 metric tons. Imagine lifting something as heavy as 500 elephants, about the same weight as a small skyscraper, 113 meters, 370 feet, up in the air, all in just 40 minutes. This makes crossing the height difference created by the dam efficient and surprisingly quick compared to the traditional five-stage lock system, which could take three to four hours. This boost in efficiency is crucial for a dam of this size, located on the busy Yangtze River. Since its opening in September 2016, it has significantly increased the river's freight capacity, allowing for safer and faster shipping while also cutting shipping costs by 25%. The Three Gorges Dam ship lift is a complex piece of technology with some remarkable specifications. The lift chamber itself is like a giant floating bathtub filled with water, measuring 120 meters long, 18 meters wide, and 3.5 meters deep. The entire structure is suspended by 256 ropes, each connected to 128 double rope pulleys that balance the lift using counterweights. These ropes are anchored to the tops of four massive reinforced concrete towers, each towering 169 meters high. 
This intricate combination of counterweights and ropes allows the ship lift to move with the kind of efficiency and reliability needed for such an enormous task. While the Three Gorges Dam ship lift is an impressive engineering marvel, it's not the only large-scale lift redefining river navigation in China. Another major project pushing the boundaries even further is the Guabatan ship lift, currently the world's largest ship lift. It is capable of elevating vessels weighing up to 500 tons to a staggering height of 199 meters, 653 feet, that's taller than a typical 60-story building. This impressive capacity makes the Guabatan lift crucial for enabling smooth river navigation across China's rugged interior. Its sheer lifting power is key to connecting the Wu River with broader economic networks. The lift system consists of not one but three interconnected lifts. First, a vertical boat lift, a variable height lift capable of moving vessels between 72 and 79 meters, depending on downstream water levels. Second, a vertical boat lift, a fixed height lift of 127 meters, which is the tallest single boat lift in the world. Finally, the upstream vertical boat lift, this lift has a variable descent height of up to 47 meters, depending on the reservoir water levels. The Guabatan system is designed to be both powerful and fast. Each of the three lifts has a lifting capacity of 1,800 tons, and the lifting speed is approximately 8 meters per minute. This means that a 500-ton vessel can be raised or lowered in just 10 minutes. But what really sets the Guabatan ship lift apart is the network of elevated aqueducts and tunnels that connect these lifts. Spanning a total distance of 2.3 kilometers 1.4 miles, this elevated canal system, suspended 100 meters 328 feet, above the ground, gives this lift its surreal quality. Ships quite literally sail above mountains, gliding through channels suspended high in the air, making it look like the vessels are floating over the landscape. The construction of the Guabatan ship lift was a major endeavor, completed in 2021 at a total cost of approximately $775 million. For that investment, China has built a system that doesn't just serve as practical infrastructure but also stands as a symbol of ingenuity, tackling the challenge of river navigation in one of the most mountainous regions of the country. Up next, let's look at how other ship lifts around the world compare. In Russia, we have the Krasnoyarsk Dam ship lift. It's like a giant underwater sled for ships. This lift can move ships weighing up to 1,500 tons up and down a height of 101 meters, 331 feet. Here's how it works, the ship floats into a large chamber filled with water, and this chamber then travels along a slope track, kind of like a roller coaster, but much slower and steadier. It moves at a speed of 1 meter per second, carrying entire ships. This lift has been helping ships navigate the Yenisei River since 1976, making large cargo transport possible through areas that would otherwise be blocked by the dam. In Belgium, the Strepithieu boat lift is one of Europe's tallest, lifting boats up to 73.15 meters, 240 feet, and carrying vessels weighing up to 1,350 tons. Meanwhile, Scotland is home to the Falkirk Wheel, the world's only rotating boat lift. Instead of just going up and down like a typical elevator, this lift spins like a giant ferris wheel for boats. It connects two canals that are 35 meters apart in height. Before the wheel was built, boats had to pass through 11 different locks, which could take an entire day. Now, the same journey takes just a few minutes. In the US, a new ship lift is under construction in Mobile, Alabama. Once completed, it will be the largest ship lift on the Gulf Coast and the widest in both North and South America, capable of lifting vessels weighing over 18,000 long tons. Australia is also investing in ship lift infrastructure with the Darwin Ship Lift Project, a $215 million investment designed to lift vessels up to 5,500 tons. Lifting ships weighing thousands of tons to incredible heights might seem like magic, but it's all thanks to clever engineering. The key is the counterweight system, similar to an elevator. Advanced computer systems ensure smooth operation, balancing weight and optimizing movement. 
So that concludes today's video. If you want to learn about the most important locks in the United States, check out our video on the SOL locks in Salt STE Marie and the mega project aimed at preventing a potential $1 trillion disaster. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.